Hello everyone, hello again. This is a, my next uh, requested video and that has been requested by one of my lovely commenters on YouTube and one of my subscribers who is a master 33-6 life path with an expression number nine um, talent number. So first of all, I always start with how important these two numbers are in your chart. They're the top two most important numbers in your core. Okay, there are many numbers in numerology, but these are the two top ones. The highest one and most important, most influential and king of your kingdom is your life path number. That is what you are here to achieve. Um, that is your purpose for being here. And the expression number nine and all the other numbers in your chart merely exist to support the fruition of that all important life path. Now, when you're a life path master 336, you're an extremely old soul, very experienced soul. So you have loads and loads of spiritual potential and lots and lots of wisdom, intuitive wisdom, that when you access it, that you can access amazing wisdom from all your previous lifetimes. Because, you know, you, you're not going to be a life path master 336 without being a very, 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 very experienced old soul that has had many, many different lifetimes. So you're extremely, extremely spiritually um, able. You have a lot of potential to use your spiritual abilities and gifts, but they have to be developed because this is your life path not a talent. However, when you have an expression number nine, which is the talent you brought with you to help you achieve your life path, you have a very advanced spiritual number again. So when I look at the, the numbers nine, in fact, double three, six, nine together, I think immense creativity, very, very, very creative, uniquely creative numbers. And you're a highly spiritual. I mean, you have you're an old soul um, with the potential in the 336 master life path. And you have an expression number nine, which is a very advanced number with all the other numbers encompassing within it. So when I think of you as a life path 336, I think a creative nurturer who has creative talent and spiritual talent. That is the overarching thought for you as a 336 expression nine is creativity and spiritual ability. But remember your life path something, life path something, <laughs> your life path number is something that you are here to develop. It's not necessarily something, well, it's not, it's not something you're going to find easy, especially a master life path. You know, we're all doing, um, I'm a seven, a life path seven. So I'm doing a degree as a life path master 33, six, you're doing a PhD. So that's how much harder your life path is than a lowly um, single life path personage like me. Um, so you have a, a longer and a harder job to do. Therefore, these videos are going to be a bit longer than the normal life path videos. Um, my master videos tend to be quite a lot longer because you are here with a big responsibility and you are here to do something big, something big that's going to change the world. So there's so much more for you to learn and do. But when you're an experienced and developed soul like you are, this should be something that you have the potential to do. But remember, it's not going to be easy. There are going to be times you're going to want to throw in the towel, but don't do it. OK, it's a hard life path. You take each step as you go. It's a very spiritual, very creative life path. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what where you need to develop in the life path master 33, six and show you where the talents of the nine can help you um, to achieve that. And in some areas may not be so helpful. OK, so first of all, the life path 33, six is here to learn double creative emotional self-expression so you may as a, a life path 33 six struggle a little bit with your emotional expression either with difficult emotions or lack of confidence shyness there are many many reasons why somebody may not be able to express themselves emotionally um, so you're here to use double creative emotional self-expression which you might find difficult but keep plugging at it using your enhanced perceptions, intuitions, and all that positivity that you can bring down from source 
to help you to heal, inspire, teach and entertain, not just you, not just your family, not just your community, but the world. This is a big life path that you've come to achieve. You're meant to be a world nurturer, a world teacher. What you teach to us, what you express to us creativity needs to be world changing. As I said, you've got a very, very big responsibility when you are a life path 336. Um, you're here in the six energy, the higher advanced level of the six. It's a higher vibrational six to maintain your vision of the ideal. But with acceptance of reality, you know, we should all keep what's best in mind. We should all keep the ideal in mind. Otherwise, we've got nothing to look to to help us with our morals and our ethics and our everyday stuff. But what we shouldn't be doing is using those ideals as a benchmark for our happiness so that we get judgmental and disappointed and angry with the world and yourself and everyone in it for not being ideal. But, you know, you must understand that the world, the universe, source energy, all of us, I mean, we are source energy. It, it's as it should be because we need to learn. So if if the whole universe was just this utopia where nobody suffers, we, we wouldn't be able to experience suffering and success. We need to experience hate, to experience love. All of it has got to be experienced to help us appreciate the good side you know, to see one polarity will help you appreciate the other polarity. And we're not going to learn and evolve if we're only shown things that are lovely and we have comfortable little lives, unfortunately. We have to have challenges in life. It's what teaches us the most. Haven't you noticed how the hardest times in our lives teach us the most and help us to develop the most and make us even stronger? Unfortunately, that is the case. So if the world was this always was this ideal utopia that you'd love it to be. None of us would learn anything. So what I'm saying is keep that vision, keep that ideal, but don't use it as a benchmark for your happiness. Don't let, don't use it as a benchmark for you to judge yourself, other people, or hate the world for not being as it should be. It's as it should be for a reason, for our own learning and evolution, okay? And as I said, this is an, an advanced life path only attempted by old and experienced souls, but you have a big job to do. But the talent you bring with you is a very, very, very developed, multifaceted, um, you, you know, there's not much you can't turn your hand to when you have a talent number nine, as you have all the other numbers encompassed within the nine. So you have all that ability you have a very all round ability. You can turn your hand to anything like fives can, you know, and you bring with you to enhance your potential spiritual ability, amazing intuitive wisdom that you channel straight from um, straight from your soul and you channel source energy as well. Very, very, very spiritual number. And you always act because you're so spiritual with integrity and wanting to leave a legacy of health and wellness, which can only support your service oriented life path. Because, you know, when you're a master life path, you're here to serve the world. OK, and having an expression nine that is very strong on ethics and integrity and promoting the health and wellness of others can only be a good thing. Right. You know, your life is your teaching. You're here to use your amazing communication skills in the nine and your amazing um, the way you can um, show people how to be, how you can um, be um, an example to them so that they follow you and follow your teaching. You're a natural advisor, teacher, communicator and fixer of other people's lives. But what you've got to be very careful of, especially a nurturing 33.6 and an expression nine is not to do too much for other people and be a fixer. Um, but we're going to go more into that as I move forward. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to break the life path master 336 into about 19 or 20 parts because it's double the size of my normal life path videos. And um, that will be on the left hand column. So this is going to be things that you struggle to achieve. You know, you might struggle to get this 
and on the right hand side is how your talent number your expression number is going to help you to achieve that or sometimes not help you so much okay and when there's an element in the expression that doesn't help the life path too much it just means that that element might be a little bit more difficult for you to achieve you might need to put a little bit more focus in to help you get to a point where you can achieve that successfully for your life path but there's going to be other elements of your life path that are really supported by your talent number expression nine and it will help make those elements of your life path that much easier to achieve so let's get started with all the elements so you're an old soul as i've said many times you're here to manifest to express ideas in the real world to an audience to the people around you to your social groups you're not somebody that necessarily just channels the ideas you express those ideas in the world you know with emotional self-expression that's what you're here to learn to do to show the world your creativity and your emotional self-expression whether to an audience whether online or whether to your family your social group or anyone you're here to have an audience um, learn to teach learn to nurture learn to heal others in a very very big way because the life path master 33 6 is a very 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 big responsibility you must learn to handle this big responsibility and the immense energy that hits you daily because you are a master advanced life path um <coughs> excuse me <coughs> you have a big responsibility to your audience the world um, but, you know, you can end up, especially with that nine expression, being too responsible, be doing too much and not looking after your own boundaries. Just one second while I let my little cat, Oreo, out the door. Hello, darling. You want to go out? Okay. Go on then. You want to go out? No? Go on then. Good boy. <laughs> sorry about that they hardly use the cat flap all day and then when i start doing videos they all come in through the cat flap i think they like to come in and see what i'm doing right so you're an old soul here to manifest and express ideas to inspire and to delight and to teach and to heal and to nurture people all over the world you know and you've got to handle this responsibility and this intense master energy that tends to pound you on a daily basis you know, but sometimes this intense responsibility can, you know, you can end up being too much of service and not looking after yourself enough. You know, you must have boundaries to look after yourself and boundaries to stop you overstepping the mark with other people. So your master life path 336 needs you to manifest your Im immense master energy to teach and nurture and heal the world in a big way and not you know if you focus that good energy into good areas you're not going to end up with it all inside you causing nervous tension and anxiety learn to channel that energy out of you towards teaching and healing and nurturing and healing the world going towards healing a world in a big big way your nine talent energy makes you talented a talented intuitive teacher you're naturally talented at nurturing others. You use spiritual laws, intuitive messages, and an attitude of compassion and love and well-being that is natural to an expression number nine. At your best, you're focused 100% on promoting the well-being of others with integrity and ethics. However, when you're at your worst, and I mean your very worst, and I'm not accusing you of being this, this is just at your worst. You can be, potentially, you could push your intu intuition aside and manipulate others for your own benefit or use um, conventional laws and um, conventional ideas and even bigotry at times to justify your actions towards others. Um, but most expression nines, because they're an expression nine, are more about the more positive elements of the nine. But that tendency is there if you don't keep connected to your intuition. So keep supporting that master 336 life path by developing further that immense spiritual potential that you have within you in the 33 and the nine. 
and using it to positively and ethically teach, heal and help those around you. Very, very important because you're a very, very powerful person. You're here to learn to express yourself verbally, to inspire, to inform, to delight, to pass on an emotional message to others so that they listen to you. You know, and because this is something that you struggle with, you may start your life struggling in some way verbally. To be honest, it could be finding the right words. It could be a language barrier. It could be chronic shyness, speech delay, stutter, possibly. Um, often it's struggling to find the right words and knowing what the right words to say and getting shy and going quiet. That kind of difficulty that you're here to step past when you are a 33-6 energy. So your master life path 336, 336 needs you to develop towards. So you're going to find this difficult normally verbally expressing yourself to inspire and inform and delight in a very confident and emotional way. And this is going to be a lot more easy for you with your expression number nine, because as I said, your nine talent energy provides you with excellent verbal charismatic talent. You, you have the natural ability to captivate an audience or anyone else that is around you. That is your natural ability, but you've got to use it. You know, you can't just have it there. You've got to use it. You've got to build up your confidence, you know, and when you do get to that point, others will follow your example. They'll follow your teachings because they'll just have an inner confidence that you are their, the, the right teacher for them and that your teachings are good for them. So support your master 336 life path by using that verbal skill that you have innately inside you to help you to verbally and emotionally express yourself so that you do nurture, inspire, inform, delight and entertain those that are around you. That's the big job you're here to achieve. And the nine in this element of your life path is going to be extremely helpful for you. However, you've got to use that talent and you've got to manifest that talent. You're also here to learn to express yourself creatively. As I said, the double three, the six, the nine, three very, very, very creative numbers, the most creative numbers, numbers in numerology. And you have all three of those numbers in your 70% core, your life path and expression. So think creativity, think spirituality, and you're always going to be on the right path. So you're here to learn to express yourself creatively, to inspire, to inform, to delight, to heal and to nurture others. Um, but you may feel that you're not creative at all. A lot of very creative people say, I'm not creative, I can't do it. And, you, you, you know, you can often struggle to finish creative projects because you just don't believe you're creative or you don't believe your work is any good. And that is something that you really need to step past so that you can properly and confidently express your creativity to the world. You have a big, very important life path. It is, this is not something that you can step over and hope that will go away. This is part of the big life path that you are here to achieve. But where you are lucky once again, life path 33.6, is that the expression number nine is an extremely creative number. You know, whether it's with words, art, whether it's with your body or with music, you have an immense creative energy in the nine um, and the three, the six and the nine. The three and the six is inside the nine. All those abilities are within the nine. So it's up to you then to use that amazing, immense creative talent to support that master 33, six life path, because there's going to be a, a way that you're going to need to choose to um, there's going to be need like some kind of topic or specialism that you're going to need to choose to express to the world. And it's going to be a creative and spiritual one. And it's going to have a big, big impact on the world. You must learn to be dynamic, take risks, be confident, enjoy the attention and limelight. Because when people want to follow you, they're going to want you to be confident. They're going to want you to be able to express yourself so that they believe everything you say. You know, but this is something that you are going to struggle with because this is not an easy path. So you're going to start out and you might still be shy, underconfident, 
un, un, unable to take risks. You're going to be very sensitive because you're a master life path. And sometimes you feel that you just cannot cope with taking risks and being dynamic and getting out there. You know, your self-belief often will stop you. And this is another thing you need to work through as a life path 33.6. But again, your expression number nine is a very confident um, energy. So your nine talent energy is confident, intuitive, and you're an intuitive risk taker. You know what risks are good and what risks are not so good. And you're, you're, if you use your intuition in the nine, because you're extremely intuitive, you know, you, you know when you use your intuition, when you're doing the right thing. So when you're using your intuition, that sprouts confidence. And with confidence, you can be dynamic and charismatic and sure of the information that you are communicating. So support your master life path 336. There's another cat just coming by taking intuitive risks. Okay. Taking intuitive risks, being intuitively comfortable in front of an audience. And the more you're happy intuitively with what you're saying to people, the more honest and authentic and confident and charismatic you will become one second hello do you want to go out as well okay then we're both coming through the cat flap <laughs> right cat number two there's a possibility they'll both go outside now and loop back round and come back through the cat flap in a few minutes time <laughs> so take risks because you need to for your 33 6 life path you know because it's a big life path to achieve but take intuitive risks okay if your intuition says to you mm, not sure about that follow it listen to it be guided by your intuition and be guided by your intuition to know that the wisdom that you share the creativity and the creative wisdom that you share with others is totally correct you will then express it confidently and with charisma because you just know is correct and your audience will feel that from you and just lap that all up you know you've got to come through come across as confident in what you say because if you're not confident why would your audience be confident okay and that confidence comes from the intuition it's from knowing that that inner voice and that you're following it to the letter you're here to learn to express your emotions positively the double three in fact, 369, a very, very emotional, very emotional. I know I've got three in my core, and of course I'm a seven, very, very emotional. Um, but you're here to express those emotions positively. Now, the three can often hold their emotions in through shyness, right? And those emotions are always going to come out. It's no, you know, you can hold them in for a period of time, but one day they're just going to go kaboom. It will just take a trigger and it will just go kaboom. So instead of threes allowing their emotions to come out slowly and appropriately, they pent them all up to a point where there's a trigger, like somebody bursts their bubble with a pin and the emotions go kaboom and their emotions are then not expressed overly positively. Um, and they can become really sensitive to criticisms, um, absorbing other people's emotions, having a lot of emotional outbursts and, and a negative outbursts. And this is going to happen for you because this is your life path. So it's going to be something you find difficult. So all through your young life, you may have struggled to express your, your um, emotions positively at times and to keep your emotions on an even keel. This is where the expression nine is going to falter a little bit because your nine energy, your nine talent is also extremely emotional. And this could, if you allow it to exacerbate and destabilize your emotional energy even more, or certainly enhance your, your difficulties with emotional, um, keeping those emotions in check. So it's important that you support your Master 336 life path by spending some time. This is going to take some time, but observing yourself, observing your own feelings. Think about, God, I just reacted like that to that you know why did I react like that you know what caused me to do that where was I you know where in my body did I feel did I feel a shooting pain you know and why did you know 
it seems to be and, and the longer you you observe yourself the more you'll see that there's patterns in your reactions and your emotions and there's patterns in the way it feels in your body when you feel an emotion coming and that the resulting awareness that over time you will have when you watch yourself in action will help you to manage your emotional responses. Now, for more information on that, watch my video on um, managing your emotions that I post recently on my channel. It's very much for threes and sixes and nines um, that are struggling to manage their emotional energy. So if you are struggling, which you're, you're likely to be with, with a 33, six and a nine energy, then um, check that video out if you haven't already. So you're also here to develop the habit of actually acting, from being practical, from doing something, from expressing. The three and the three and the six, very practical. You're doers. You express new ideas and to the world to nurture and heal other people, as I keep going on about. Um, but when, you when you're really, really low, you can struggle with apathy, laziness, lack of focus, not really wanting to do anything because you sort of think, what's the point? So nothing gets done. Things end up staying in the thought stage when really for your life path 33.6 to be achieved, you've got to act, you've got to do, you've got to execute, you've got to express because that is what you're here to do. And then the results of that execution, that expression, that doing should be nurture, inspiration, teaching, positivity, healing, it should come out as positivity to heal the world, okay? And your master life path 33.6 needs you to do that in order to achieve your path. But your nine energy is also an energetic doer. You're quite the thrill seeker, quite the executor of ideas. You can plan and you can do. You're a nine. You've got all those multifaceted abilities within you. So support your master 33.6 life path by staying focused. Be motivated to act, do, express in order to nurture the world in whatever way you can and whatever way fits your individual passions and interests. Because remember, I give you the big picture here, the way you nurture, the way you express yourself, what you express to other people is the detail. And that's what's up to you. You're here to learn to be social, talkative, the life of the party, the bringer of fun and positivity. You know, the 33-6 needs to be social in, in two key ways. Now, this is the first way, being talkative, being able to network and connect with people on an initial level, you know, um, communicating your important world changing message, getting contacts from people, starting new things because you've met the right person, you know, bring a, pulling people in with your fun and your charisma and creating opportunities and relationships that people want to progress um, creative projects with you because you've been so charismatic and social at an event. That's what you need to work towards. But there's two ways the 33-6 needs to be social. This is just the first one. The next way is going to come later. So your nine talent energy, it provides you with excellent charismatic social communication skills. I've already said that. Um, you're able to captivate and nurture others with your emotional message. You have that ability there if you use it. So use that ability and support your master 33-6 path by expressing your emotional message, but positively, okay, in a balanced and positive way. Network, communicate and promote the well-being of others wherever you can. And by doing that, you are walking your path, okay? Develop your independence. The three energy can be very much about dependence. dependence okay, the, um, routine and commitment is difficult for a three and doubly difficult for a, do for a creative double three. Everyday tasks and routine that is needed for any kind of job that earns you money would be difficult for a three and mega difficult for a 33. You know, you're... You, you tend to end up in dependent situations at times, 
because you can't hold down a job because you don't want to the routine and the everydayness. You're creative. You want to do your own thing. You want to make money your own creative way. You don't want to be stuck to an everyday routine, doing routine tasks. And the problem with that is, is you know, that often means you you often don't earn enough money, especially in the beginning stages. And that can bring you into like a, a dependent situation when we're all here to learn to be interdependent, to be independent and dependent on each other, you know. So the 33 can sometimes be a little bit over dependent on other people, especially at first. Um, But your nine talent energy is going to balance that because the nine energy is fiercely independent. You don't like anyone doing stuff for you or telling you what to do. And this independent streak has the potential when used to balance that dependent energy of the three and help you to achieve interdependence rather than dependence because you can't hold down a job because you can't do the everyday nine to five, which a three struggles to do. So support your master 33 six life path by committing your time, your energy to something important. Remember, this is a master life path. You know, you're not here to just make a cup of tea. Commit your time and energy to your important world changing expression. Anything that you know that is your path to change the world must be where your focus and commitment is. And then independence will follow. Interdependence will follow. Okay, very important. You're also here to be opportunistic, to look at what's around you and snap it up. Network, make useful connections, snap up opportunities, spread the word, progress ideas and projects. You know, you're here to be dynamic, expressive, um, you know, snapping up opportunities like, uh, you know, as they arise um, and jump on opportunities and social connections as they arise. Use them to your advantage to develop your expression Your nine energy is that energetic, talkative talent. So it's going to help you to achieve this opportunistic network lesson that you have. You know, when you're using your nine talent to its best, when you speak, others listen. They hang on your every word. So develop that and support your life path, Master 336, by snapping up those opportunities, being confident enough to do that. And you have the talent to do that. You know, spread your healing message and spread your nurturing ideas, whether online or by a book or by your way of life or by your speaking, you know, or by socializing. There's always a way to spread your message, you know, spread your ideas practically, verbally, emotionally. There's so many ways that you can nurture other people, but the detail and specifics are always up to you. You know, you must learn to take responsibility. You're a very, very powerful number. The 33 and the 9 together are formidable. So you must learn to take responsibility, listen to guidance, um, because the 3 can sometimes need a bit of guidance, and the 3 can sometimes be a little irresponsible, and when it's double 3, it can double that. Um, You've got to learn to think before you act and take responsibility to what for what you do so that implies that the thir- that 33 6 or the 3 and the double 3 very much struggle to take responsibility at times however this is often balanced out by the 6 energy that is responsible and of course you are an expression 9 so maybe you were an irrespon- bit irresponsible as a kid but as you've grown up that irresponsibility has fallen away because you have a good support in number in your expression 9 and your advanced 6 energy which will bring more responsibility into the mix and help you move forward and of course you're always going to have in mind what an important job you're here to do so taking responsibility is doubly important for you as a master number so your nine talent energy just gives you that intuition. It's You're an intuitive number. You're spiritual. You're ethical. You're responsible. You're talented at improving the well-being of others. So you have all the ability you need to be responsible. However, the nine has the potential at your very worst to act selfishly, even nefariously, to con people out of their money or you know towards self-destruction and then fail to take responsibility for the consequences of their actions and leg it or you know refuse to take emotional um uh, possession of what they've done 
Um, so it's important that you support this ma important master life path energy by staying in constant communion with yourself and source energy and your soul's intuitive stored wisdom to ensure that this power that you have is used for the reasons that you brought it here for, to help heal and nurture the world teach them heal them nurture them change their lives that's what you're here to do but in a good way not in a rubbish way you're here to be a visionary of the ideal the six energy in you is very 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 idealistic you love to look at the the ideal world where no one suffers where no animals suffer no children suffer you know, everybody is provided for and everybody is OK. Nobody experiences pain or illness or hate from others. You know, you want to create that better world. And that is the vision that you have. And it's specific to you. Um, so when you have an ideal and perfections, which the 33 six tends to do, it's, it's, it's going to serve to make you a little bit judgmental of yourself and other people. Because, you know, your, these ideals that you hold with yourself are going to be hard for anyone to achieve, let alone the world, the people around you, or even yourself. You know, 33 sixes are the most judgmental to themselves. You know, these are unreachable ideas and perfections that you keep pounding yourself with is only going to cause disappointment and unhappiness if you do not reconcile those ideals with reality. You know, the world's not meant to be a utopia. It's a place of learning. And we have to have hate as well as love. We have to have cruelty as well as um, caring. You know, you need both. And unfortunately, you are going to see the bad side as well as the good in this world. And we have to reconcile that that needs to be the case. Otherwise, we're not having the full experience that we need to have to evolve and learn in this incarnation. So... Your 33-6 master life path needs you to create a better world for all, to attempt to always be working towards creating that better world for all, whilst accepting the world for what it is. You know, you can always work towards better and have that vision of what's better and what's good and the best way to treat people in mind, but always accepting that the world needs to be how the world is at that particular time so that we learn and evolve. But your nine talent energy is also extremely idealistic, which will intensify your idealistic nature. Um, but you're also extremely intuitive. And if you keep communion with your intuition, it will provide you with the added knowledge, the added wisdom, the added perceptions about the reason for the world's current status, why the universe isn't all lovely and flowers and, and pink and pretty marshmallows. You know, it's it's. You need to accept the world as imperfectly imperfect. And even though you are a very idealistic person, it's important that you keep those ideals in check using your perceptions, your higher wisdom and knowledge, because and this will help you not to set the bar too high for yourself, for others and the world and then end up disappointed and almost angry and judgmental. Sometimes your ideals just can't be achieved at that time or even ever. And you need to understand and be realistic about your ideals, really, so that you don't end up unhappy. So and of course, when you're very, very, very idealistic, like the six and the nine is, there is the risk that if you're not communing enough with soul energy, if you're not communing enough with your inner soul's intuition, you could be capable of the fundamentalist ideals and things that we horrific things that we see around the world at the moment that you know that are, that end up blocking your intuitive wisdom and cause you to act in a in sometimes a harsh way in the name of worldly laws or conventions or beliefs you know fundamentalist beliefs you know that you think your ideals must be acted on and you can even act quite harshly because of that you know we see terrorism and fundamentalism all over the world and in our everyday lives. And it's important that we stamp on that and find that balance. So support your master 33-6 life path by keeping a tight hold on those ideals, using your intuition so that it assists you in acceptance of the world as it is now as a school for learning, but also to know where you what you should be acting upon and what you should not. You know, acting on ideals or worldly laws 
um, that can cause destruction or pain to other people because you're following the law and not your intuition is something you need to get past and work through. OK, really important for you. So you're also here to learn not to use your ideas as a benchmark for your happiness. You know, being upset and disappointed and judgmental because you or someone else or the world hasn't met your ideals of what should happen. You know, you often judge yourself. You judge other people. Very, very judgmental. The six and the nine, if they don't reconcile those ideals, you know, and this can bring great deep unhappiness for you if you keep judging yourself on setting the bar way too high for you to deal with. So you need more than ever as a six and a nine, a 33, six and an expression nine to accept the world as perfectly imperfect or imperfectly imperfect, imperfectly imperfect, perfectly imperfect, you know, without judgment. You know, the world is as it needs to be for our evolution. Um, but your nine talent energy and your master 33 life path potential talent provide you with that enhanced spiritual ability. But you've got to use it. You've got to channel it. You've got to work at it. You can use, you know, you're extremely intuitive. You've got the, the, the potential to be psychic, clairaudient, clairsentient, clairvoyant, you know, perceptive, empathic, um, extremely intuitive, you know, a highly developed soul. You've got loads of stored wisdom that you can use for your higher understanding of the real nature of the universe and why it needs to be how it is. But again, if you let that that idealistic nature overtake your intuition, let that idealism and the everyday conventions and laws of the world overtake your messages from source, your messages from your own intuition, you are more prone to judging yourself, others and the world for not meeting your visionary ideals, causing unhappiness in yourself. And it could cause you to act not positively towards other people, you know, so support that master 33, six life path by practicing this daily spiritual communion. It's so, so important for you to channel wisdom so that you're always basing your decisions on your keen, intuitive wisdom um, leading to knowledge of the, the nature of the universe and why it needs to be how it is, and why it needs to be both positive and negative, leading to acceptance and non-judgment and realising that we're all a work in progress, working towards our idea of a, a fully experienced or perfection. You know, we're just not there yet and the world is how it is to be a school for us to become perfect so allow yourself to make mistakes learn from them and follow your intuition and you'll never ever go wrong so reconcile your ideals with practical reality as i've said the world needs to be how the world is okay it's so important otherwise what would we learn what would be the point of incarnating if we can't learn the lessons we need to learn because you know all the difficult things in life don't exist so we can only learn how to swing in the meadow and eat chocolate all day. It's not going to teach us anything about life or, you know, it's not going to develop our soul in any way. We need to accept and it's important for you as a 33 six to do so, um, accept that the universe source energy is everything. It's everything existing in perfect balance and to fully experience love. You must fully experience hate to be able to care for somebody else. You need someone to be vulnerable, you know, in order to help someone financially, you need people to be poor in order to lift people and be that person that nurtures and lifts people. You have to have people that are downtrodden in order to heal. You need to have sick people. Those polarities have to be there. Otherwise, the learning will not ever take place and there'd be no point in us even bothering to leave source energy and explore this material world anyway. But and your idealistic nine talent energy brings, you know, as I've said, it just exacerbates the idealistic energy and makes it stronger, which is good when it's used for positivity, but not when it's used for judgment. Um, and it adds that to your nature, but also you have that intuitive spiritual perception and knowledge that is all inside you, that is all part of your soul, that you can easily channel from source. And 
this can all help you understand the true nature of reality that the universe needs to be how the universe is in perfect balance of positive and negative needed for us to learn so support your life path master 336 by continuing and focusing on challenging your intuition to understand that source energy is everything it's all experience all existing in perfect balance for use both positive and negative as tools for our learning and evolution very important for you as a 33 6 expression 9 to really get to grips with that concept you must develop your ability as well to see the big picture. The, the 33 6 can be very nitpicky, very perfectionistic, and disappoint yourself. You know, you could have a great day and everything goes beautifully, and then you're sat there obsessing because you forgot to put water glasses on everyone's table. The rest of the day could be perfect and amazing and went really well, but there's the 33 6 obsessing about the little things that went wrong and um, really berating themselves. Oh, why didn't I do better? You know? You've got to keep that big picture in mind because, you know, there's always the detail that goes wrong, but the big picture is what matters. So don't get stuck in the petty detail like the 33.6 tends to do. Then you end up judging the whole situation and not enjoying it because these tiny imperfections, you're missing your successes, you know, and then that makes you feel low and disappointed. And then that hits your self-esteem round and round and round we go. So keep that big picture in mind, 336. Um, but your nine talent energy is multi-talented. It can help you here as well. Um, and able to see and act on the big picture and the detail. You can kind of see both when you're a nine, um, depending on what the situation demands. So what you need to do is learn when the big picture is needed and learn when the detail is needed. And it's knowing when to use what and at what at what polarity and how much of each to use which is the skill you know we need big picture and we need detail it's about using them both and balancing them really so support your life path master 33 6 by kicking the perfectionism to the curb looking at your successes you know stop nitpicking the pos the petty details and look more towards that big picture be more balanced in your big picture detail focus so that you can see the wood for the trees and you can see the trees for the wood you know, support your master life, master life path 33, six by catching yourself. If you start getting picky about the small details, the small petty failures and like talking yourself down and making yourself feel bad and remind yourself of the big picture. Was it a success? And take note of all the things that went well so that you're not beating yourself down and mashing up your confidence as you go and then judging everyone else around you as well you know it's not a nice feeling and it's something that you would be happier in life if you could get past um, you're here to learn to be a, a, a nurturer compassionate caring giving especially within your close relationships and your community um, I've just realized my microphone might not have I've got it on default microphone oh dear that's not good I might have to put that up a bit. I hope that's improved it. Um, so you're here to learn to be a nurturer, compassionate, caring and giving, especially to those that are vulnerable or struggling within your close relationships, your community and the wider world. Um, your Master Life Path 336 needs you to learn to be that nurturer, compassionate, caring and giving. You know, that's what you're here to learn to be. And your nine talent energy is going to provide you with that because your nine talent energy is extremely compassionate and protective. You're a wisdom filled advisor, a natural wisdom filled advisor and teacher focused on promoting the well-being of the world, especially for those that are vulnerable. You know, so support that master life path 33 six by using your compassionate, protective and nurturing nature to care for and help those that need it the most. You know. Uh, let's get back to here. So hopefully this will work or does it have to go to here? Yes. So boundaries. Now, this is an important for you, one for you as a 33, six expression nine, because you need boundaries more than any anyone else. I mean, the, the 33, six is a server and wants to help and serve others. And the expression nine is a fixer and a server of others. So sometimes 
the, the you can have just no boundaries or do it at all you end up doing too much for others making yourself exhausted and overstepping the mark with other people um, you do a lot for others sometimes too much and this can make you feel undervalued unappreciated and all, sometimes almost ill with exhaustion you're here to have boundaries to what you will do and how much you will overstep the mark in other people's lives you know, to ensure your mental and physical health, to ensure your well-being across the board, okay? So your Master 33-6 life path needs you. Even though you're a path of service, you need boundaries for, for how much you would do for others. One, for your own well-being and exhaustion. And two, it's important that you don't overstep the life path of other people. You know, they need to learn too. You can't fix everything for them. So your nine talent energy may exacerbate this energy because you're a fixer, you know, you're a bit of a fixer trying to fix everything for everyone, neglecting your own needs, not asking for help, which is vital because we're all interdependent and overstepping the boundaries of others. The nine needs to ask for as much help as they give. They need to learn to step back and know when to let the other person take control. They need to know when to step back and look after their own well-being rather than keep him pushing into the lives of others. I mean, it's all with good intention to help them, but sometimes it can go a bit far if you don't have those boundaries in place. So support your master 33-6 life path by having clear boundaries on how much you will do for others for your own well-being and to stop you overstepping the boundaries of others. You know, we've all got to live our own path. We've got to make our own mistakes. OK, and it's important that you as a fixer nine and a server 33 six, you know, in your haste to do amazing things for other people that you don't do too much and end up stamping all over someone's path of learning and exhausting yourself in the process social skills you you must be a team player you're here to work and express alongside other people break through low self-esteem be talkative fun loving and more relaxed around other people meeting more diverse people um your master life path 33 6 needs you to be the networker which I said earlier, the talkative communicator, but it also needs you to work effectively as part of a team and with different types of people. Your nine talent energy provides you with confident, charismatic and influential social skills, which you have in natural abundance, which is going to help you achieve this element. You love to laugh, you love to have fun with others and people listen to you, you know. So support your 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 master 33 six life path by continuing to socialize with a wide range of people from diverse backgrounds and perspectives to tweak those amazing self um, social skills of yours even further so that you're even better at networking and communicating and spreading your important life world changing message to the world. You're here to create a stable, nurturing, tranquil home, a secure, peaceful home for you and your family and those around you for your security and well-being and nurture your family environment of stability and love and connection. The nine, the you know, your expression nine talent is very loving and very connected, but can sometimes be a bit distant. And when you have a life path as important as a 33-6 that is here to change the world, this can often take you away from your family. And it's important that 33-6 takes time and balances time with their family. And that as an expression nine, you stay close to people you love because the nine can spread themselves a little bit too thin. And the 33-6 the, the and the nine together are global. So this, this energies can spread themselves too thin and make them distant with those they love. So in the 33-6, you'll be having to do other things and splitting from your family because you've got a big job to do. And then in the nine energy, you can be a bit distant from those you love. So it's really important that you learn to be more loving and connected with your family. This is the difficulty that you have as a 33-6 expression nine. But your nine talent energy incorporates all the energies one to nine, as I've said before. So you're able to create stable, peaceful home to promote yours and your family's well-being. You know, however, you may be emotionally distant from those close, as I've said. 
um, as you focus your attention on the wider world, you're here to serve the world. And the nine energy is a world humanitarian. So there's going to be times where you might be a little bit distant and disconnected from your family. But keep that in mind, because it's something that you should always bring back and make your family know that they are loved by you and that, you know, it's it's just your big life path that you're here to achieve, but you love them as well kind of thing. You're a talented humanitarian. You're here to heal, teach, entertain the world. You've got a big job to do. So sometimes your family, you're going to have to try and learn to balance this because your family sometimes ends up taking a back seat to all these things that you're here to achieve. But, you know, don't beat yourself up. Just work towards balancing the two and make sure that you're staying close to those you love. It's so important. So support your master 33-6 life path by developing balance between your responsibility to the world and your responsibility to yourself and your family. It's that fixer thing again. Make sure you know when to stop and take care of you. OK, and take care of those you love and those that are close to you. So important. Be responsible. Do good for those you care for. This is something else that you might struggle to do for the 33 six. People naturally put you in positions of responsibility because of that six energy. The six energy is very, very responsible. And you need to learn to be more responsible in order to develop that energy and to help and heal the world. You've got to be responsible, right? You've got to be ethical. Um, and, you know, as you're a higher vibrational six or you're working towards that higher vibrational six, especially with an expression number nine, people are going to naturally put you in positions of responsibility. And you often resent being the responsible one at times, you know. And again, you've got to be careful that you don't do too much for other people. So your life path 33 six needs you to be responsible and do good for other people. And your nine talent energy, it makes you, well, you're, in, you're immensely powerful. And at your best, you're full of ethics and integrity and responsibility that is advised by your keen, intuitive wisdom. You're talented at improving the well-being of others all over the world. You know, you have that ability. Remember, you've got to use it, though. You know, you can't just expect it to fly out of you without using it and developing it, you know. You, you're you talented at improving the well-being of others, you know, and all around the world and you're ta you're able to take responsibility for your actions and learn it might take you a bit of time to get there but it's something you need to work towards doing taking responsibility you have that talent there to take responsibility for the actions and the consequences of your actions you know at, at your worst however the nine um can use their immense power you can use your immense power for your own gain often leading others to their destruction or hurting people along the way and then you can sometimes just fail to take responsibility for that and try and walk away from it um but that's at your worst you know the nine at their best don't do that they take full responsibility for their actions so support that master 33 six path by staying again i'm going to keep on at you in full communion with your intuition with your enhanced spiritual perceptions to always ensure that you always act with ethics, integrity and responsibility. You're so powerful. It needs to be done in a positive way because you can be as world changingly positive as destructive. And we need to keep you on the positive side for the good of all mankind, for the good of all humanity. And then finally, as I keep saying, you're a very, very, very creative number. And as a 33-6, you might want to express yourself creativity, creatively and artistically, as well as verbally. Or instead of verbally, you might want to use your body creatively. You might want to play music. You might want to do art. You might be into fashion, aesthetics, you know. And many nines, uh, talent nines are into music. You might be into music. Whatever you can use your creative, artistic potential on whatever your passion is this is you're just so creative three six nine you've got all the creative numbers in your core um and you're here to develop and use that artistic aesthetic musical creative artistic potential whether you use your hands your head your mouth your uh, your body your whole body your art your music you know home designs art playing us a good tune, however you're going to express that art and creativity. It needs you to, your master 33-6 needs you to do that, to develop and use your artistic and aesthetic and creatively musical potential. Your nine talent energy makes you extremely creative, 
artistic, musical. I mean, especially in the area of music, because a lot of nine energies do like music. So to support that Master 336 life path, by fully, fully, fully exploring your RT creative side, expressing all sides of your creativity and artistic flair. And, and when you find a passion or something that you really want to really focus on, expressing that to your audience to inspire, to heal, to nurture, to delight, because that is the big, big, big thing that you're here to achieve as a master life path 336 you have a massive massive job to do to improve the vibration of the world with your healing your teaching your nurturing you can do big things in this world and you have a great expression number nine that is going to give you a lot of ability to get past all the issues that you may have along the journey but remember this is not going to be easy so I hope you've enjoyed my video today and if you haven't subscribed already please do so and click that bell icon because I'm always uploading new stuff and if you'd like to request a video for your particular life path expression or life path soul urge please contact me send me a message put it on the description box or the uh, comments box or you can send me a message on Facebook Instagram or Twitter uh, send me an email, go through my website. You, there's loads of ways you can contact me. If you'd like a reading of all your core numbers and many other things that I can show you about your past and future, please contact me, email me, contact me on social media. I'd be more than happy to do a reading for you. Or if you want to learn numerology, I'm going to put a link to my um, Udemy numerology course, which will teach you the basics of being a numerology practitioner. But don't forget, if you want to request a video or you want to ask me a question or you just want to have a chat, please leave me a message on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter or just put comments on my videos. I'm, I'm always there to answer my comments every day. As ever, guys, trust the soul within you. Only you know what's best for you.